Hi, I'm Shalina and today I'm going to show you how to make a really delicious spiced up fish and chips. Using my heritage, which is from Mauritius, I'm going to show you how to make really lovely seafood taste incredible. Just using a few simple spices and I've tried to make this healthy, faster and cleaner to eat. I'm new to the channel and if you like my spicy fish and chips, just give me a thumbs up. So for me, I absolutely love sea bream. You can definitely use any fish of your choice. I just love the shape and I love the texture when it's cooked and it really holds its flavour as well. So the first thing we need to do is we've taken this fish and we've had it cleaned at the fishmonger. Don't bother getting messy at home. So you can see it's been descaled and the fins removed as well and the guts removed. So all I'm going to do is put sort of three to five slashes depending on how big the fish is and this is to let the marinade really permeate all the way through the fish and then our marinade so what we're going to do is take 100 ml of yogurt a good whack of garam masala now this stuff is potent if you like it hot add all of it if you're a bit worried maybe half a teaspoon but this is Kashmiri chili powder a lovely teaspoon of paprika whack it with some seasoning and you can see, it kind of looks like a tandoori paste. That's kind of what I'm going for. And what we're doing here, mixing it all together and it's bright red, delicious. Now what we need to do to get the marinade straight in there, we're just gonna rub it straight in. You know when you have fish and chips, you have that wonderful batter? It's kind of me trying to recreate this. And look at that color, it looks amazing. Make sure you get it inside the cavity as well. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. Now the great thing about this, it's a speedy marinade. So this takes 20 minutes. As the fish is marinating, we're gonna get onto our spicy chips. We're gonna take a big bowl, and what we're gonna do literally is chop them in half and we're gonna make some really chunky wedges. King Edward are a good variety of potato to use if you're roasting, um, and also for mash, but here they just allow you to get that really crispy outer edge and it goes all nice and mushy and soft inside. We're not going to use that much oil, all we're using it to do is to adhere the spices to it. So the spices I'm going to use is a little bit of paprika and then cumin. I don't know what it is about cumin, I love cumin. Again, some salt, I'm going to season that up and then we're just going to toss them all up, give them a good mix and those are ready for the oven. The great beauty about this dish, it's a one tray bake. So we want to put the potatoes in first as the fish is marinating and it's going to go into the oven for 180 degrees for around 15 to 20 minutes. Lovely. Right, so these wedges have been in for 10 minutes and the fish has now had around 20 minutes to marinate. And all we're now going to do is place the fish straight in here, take our fish and that now goes in for a further 20 to 25 minutes. You want it all nice and crispy. Now the fish and chips are in the oven, we can get on with our really delicious, low fat and healthy um, tartar sauce. Now traditionally it's used with a kind of good quality mayonnaise, but I'm using a low fat creme fraiche. And what we're going to add to it is some gherkins, a bit of fresh coriander, some chilli and lime. That's our key ingredients, we're just doing a bit of chopping. Now what I love so much about this tartar sauce is it's fresh, it's fragrant and you know what, it really is for me, a little bit of a taste of Mauritius. We use a lot of coriander, lots of chilli and lots of lime in our food. And it's gonna take us all the way back to chilling on a beach, having a bit of a fish barbecue. So now we've got our coriander in there with the creme fraiche, the gherkins. Basically, what we're trying to do is balance all the flavours. We've got loads of spice going on in the fish and chips, and this has got to be like fresh, a little bit kind of punchy. And the real thing is the lime. It's gonna really just lift up the whole dish. Chili completely depends on taste. I like mine spicy, so I'm going to use half a chili. Now we're going to go in with the lime, give it a good old roll about, slice it diagonally, and this helps to get all the juices out actually. Just in half a lime, and then finally a good whack of seasoning, and that looks beautiful and it smells amazing. So that's pretty much it. We're just going to wait for the fish to come out. So I'm going to get my plate and decorate it and make it all nice and pretty. <laughs> You've got to think about presentation. And I think in terms of colour here, I'm going to use some lime because I'm going to squeeze it on the food afterwards. 
a little bit more chilli and then I love more coriander. It's completely up to you what you want to garnish with. Perfect, that smells incredible. That's been in the oven now for 25 minutes. The fish has got really crispy, the potatoes look delicious. So what we're gonna do is just slide this straight on our platter so everyone can get stuck in. And now I'm just gonna garnish it with the limes and chili. So this is my spiced up fish and chips with a twist on a classic tartar sauce. It's ready, all you need to do is shove it on a platter, put it in the middle of the table and everyone just gets stuck in. Oh, that's good. The potato wedges are so crispy and loads of lovely spice on it and the fish just looks incredible. Let's give it a taste. Honestly, it's tender, it's succulent. The skin has got all the major spices running through it and it's crispy and it's not too hot, it's just mellow and it's beautiful. So if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up and if you wanna see me cook again in the future, if you write your suggestions in the comments box and let me know what you'd like to see me cook. And don't forget to subscribe because it's free.